Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 8. So we got something spicy to sort of set us off for today. And that is we're going to use one of our compact machines. I'm going to use the giant one. Just to, to, I don't really want to use the big, big one right now. We'll use that one for something else. But for this one, it doesn't actually need to be this big. I just thought about it, but... I don't want to go make another compact machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a wither killing, not killing, wither juice, wither juice, that's what I'm going to call it, wither juice machine. So what you want to do with that is, you, oh, I forgot something already. I forgot something. Uh, I'll go get it in a minute. You need a purple laser lens for this. And of course I forgot it, but that's fine. I also need some building blocks, so... Also, what the heck is going on with... <laughs> this is so weird. This is how you make a wooden axe now. And a... Uh, ace E axe. A uh, pickaxe is... For some reason... Like, that... Why? What? Why is that happening? Like, the, the rest of them are normal, by the looks of it. Yeah, it looks all good to me. That one looks fine. That one looks fine. Odd. It's just the way you do it nowadays. I was just putting some tools in my mine colonies because they were running out of tools. Uh, anyway, what was I doing? I was getting some building blocks. I'm going to plop it right here. In fact, this is kind of where I need to put my stasis chamber. So the stasis chamber is kind of awesome. Uh, if we give it some power, stick the flux point at the back here. Stick up my normal network. There you go. We have slowness and yeah. Uh, if I do one of those, it will show you the area in which something will be in stasis. So right there, we're in stasis. But you can put a wither in stasis. So that's what we're going to do. I do believe you need to put this on top. I always forget how this works. Oh. Let's turn it off for now. So, one, two, three. This is where the wither will be, I hope. So, four. This, oh, actually, I think this is where the laser lens needs to go. Maybe it's one up from there. Uh, I'm, I'm, we'll find out. Anyway, so... You need to put a laser down. They always place really weird for me. I think if they place it away from you. Uh, I am going to do it. Yeah, let, let's like encircle this. And then it's just one out like that. So this is the top. Is it away from me? It is away. That's annoying. It's annoying because uh, I want to place one down against the wall right here. Why are you facing down? That's silly. Uh, That's not at all where I wanted to put you, but okay. Fine, we'll just like slap them down like that and we can wrench them, I believe. Just any wrench. Okay, not just any wrench. That wrench? No. Uh, what wrench would work? Configurator. I swear there is a wrench that works. Um, there you go. Hover mode. Just for, oh, Why are you still pointing down? Silly thing. Is there a wrench in industrial foregoing? There we go. And then it was this wrench. Blimey. There we go. So all of these are pointing inwards. I actually need a block to put this on. And put the fluid laser base right there. We can get rid of all of that cobble. Uh, I'm going to turn this one back on. And we are going to build a wither. One. Two. Three. And he should be stuck. I don't know if that's too high. That might be too high. Hmm. I need to chunk load this as well. 
before I forget. Uh, let's not do a slash home because we're right next to where we come out, so we might as well do one of those. Uh, why did I come out? There was... Oh, I need to do the, the purple laser lens. Laser lens. Oh, any laser lens would work. Oh, how do I make the, the blank? There you go. No. Uh, fine. You know what we'll do? Not that recipe. This processing recipe. We'll do that one. So chuck it in there like that. That should be what we need. Now, we don't even need to teleport up, but eh, craft one of these. I think I can put four in here, but I'm just going to put the one. And we can just zip back out into this one here. It's always freaky seeing the, uh, the wither just like sit in there. Now, this isn't going to give us anything because we need to power these. So I am going to power it. Uh, have I not got any... Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. There we go. Ultimate. One, two, three. Can't really block it. I don't know if blocking it would do anything. Can I do that? Oh, seems to work. In that case, we don't need these edge ones. We can just do it. Didn't mean to put that one there. Yeah. So in a big circle like that. And I need an Ooh, actually, what I can do. That would do it, but I don't know how. <laughs> That's a bit janky. But it is fine. That should. Ten ether gas. Right, so I need to put one of each of these in here. Just like that. Apparently you can put them in here as well. Okay, this one won't go in there. Speed upgrade for some reason won't, but... There you go, we're getting a bunch. Bunch of ether gas right there. I need to somehow get that into my system. Yeah, screw it. Let's make a couple of ender tanks. Uh, we need a pipe to pull that out. Let's do a quick pipe like that. I know it says ether gas, but it's not ether gas. It's just ether liquid. Because <laughs> you can put it in an ender tank, so... Uh, right. That's done. Got ourselves some ether gas. Love it. Uh, I also need an importer. Importer. Oh, I did it again. Importer. Just, I need just this regular one because it's not going to be that quick. Uh, down. Down. I'm going to stick it right up here. So, I can put this... Ah! These are weird. Just remembered. Uh, we might want to place this down first. Yeah. Because uh, these ender tanks, you can only place them on... Like, the ends are the only places you can pull out of, if you know what I mean. Very strange. But that should now, if we pop upstairs, we should have ether gas, that's latex. Brilliant. Wow, that's a lot of latex. <laughs> why do we not have ether gas? That's odd. Oh, I know why. It's because um, I didn't change the filter on this, did I? So right back here, if I can get to it. There you go. Change that to fluid, and now we should have ether gas in our system. Uh, 
Ether gas, amazing. Uh, I've already set up all of the recipes for making the supreme machine frame, so we can just make a few of those. In fact, uh, let's at for going. I've actually done something else, which is uh, I was supposed to put the tinted glass around that with a oh well. In this wooden storage crate, I've got every single mycelial reactor except the three that require the supreme machine frame because I wanted to make the ether gas thing. Uh, and I also don't have the mycelial reactor because, well, we need need that. We need the uh, supreme thingy for that as well. So if you look in JEI, you can see that they've got like these little notches. I don't know if I can like zoom in. But you can see there's like, on this one, it requires supreme, so it's like one, two, three notches. This one here requires a simple, so it's only got one notch. And this one requires an advanced, so it's got two notches. It's a nice little detail, I like that. But we need four supreme. Don't know if I've got enough ether gas, but it looks like I do, so that's pretty good. So, I managed to get the four supreme machine frames. Uh, that was just using the pattern we put in last episode, I think it was. I just put a pattern in here for the reactor as well, so eh. one of those, please. Uh, that's going to take a little while. What, what else does it need to do? <laughs> Strange. Nether right. Oh, he has to make the uh, the plastic. That's what it was doing. I might actually do a <laughs> the thing that I said I wouldn't want to do, which is have a latex processing unit and then have water and like a dedicated set of like latexy things in there, you know, to get all of the um, dry rubber. But this is kind of working for now. It's just a little slow every so often. But there is the mycelial reactor. Let's train get them today. Every <laughs> all the trains are out. What are you doing, JM3? Uh, so that is the final reactor that will give us like all of the power, pretty much. We just need to make the other two. So I know this one is one of the reactors, halitosis. That reminds me. Okay, we'll come back to that one in a sec. But the other one is the nether star. That's fine. We've got loads of nether stars now. Might need to amp up production, though. Uh, and then what's the last one? Is it? Metallurgic one. That needs a bucket of um, meat. Bucket of meat. Let's grab one of these and then we can get a bucket of meat. Easy enough. So, that for going, just to get these in order. I think I've got them in order. So, the next one is halitosis. This one's always the one that's pain in the bum. I think after that it's the... No, this one's last. And then Nether Star is in the middle. Cool. So this, this wooden crate here, which... Uh, this is from Industrial Fog... No. Uh, this is from Immersive Engineering, by the way. You can pick it up. And it gives you a nice little overview of what's in there. I like that. It's pretty nice. Um, we can use this... I could use it in this compact machine right here. I like that idea. Okay, we'll pop it in here. Uh, and I think I should almost be able to do all of these. Uh, let's wang it right in the middle like that. This is where I'm going to put the mycelial reactor eventually, but I'll leave this one out first. So now all we have to do is figure out what needs to go in every single one of these. The one that is already like sort of yeah, we we kind of need Dragon's Breath. Now, Hostel Neural Networks is in here, so we're pretty lucky with that because oh no, not that one. The Dragon Ender Dragon prediction, which you get from Ender Dragons, actually gives you Dragon's Breath or Dragon's Eggs. So if you needed a lot of Dragon's Eggs, that's probably the best way to do it. This does mean we have to go kill the Ender Dragon, though. So you need to deal with this, right? You just um, slap the uh, end crystals back down. 
And that resummons the Draken, and he's very loud. Sorry, she is. So what I'm going to do is I've actually got four of these, and I'm going to write... Oh, no, I want that one. I'm going to put all four of these, and we can get four at the same time. Uh, Richard the Supreme has awoken nearby. Brilliant. There is the Ender Dragon. Come here. Come here again. Nice. So with this, we can put all four of them in here. And now I've just got to kill the Ender Dragon a couple of times. You don't need to kill the Ender Dragon like a bunch of times. Just a couple of times. It says it right there. Two remaining. Right, there we go. We've got our second... Dragon kill right there. I also, um, I killed one of the Apotheosis mobs because Apotheosis just adds a bunch of mobs into the game. Uh, they've all disappeared now that I've uh, said that. I just got a bunch of them spawn. Uh, okay, never mind. But they, they shine and they're, they're like different rarities, and I found this. Ah. So, upon blocking, inflict, inflict Wither 2. I don't know if that's to me or the thing that I'm unblocking, but it's got Shield Bash. Sounds cool. Reflect Defenses. Harms the attacker. Huh. Looks good. I never use shields, though, so that's just going in the backpack. I'm going to lob all of this away. Didn't need those end crystals in the end. I would, like, make these ones better, but I don't want to kill them another four times. I don't want to do six kills, so we are just going to leave it at that. Uh, whilst I was doing that, I did get some Dragon's Breath. So we could use this, uh, but ideally we'd set up... Hmm, we might as well set this one up in, in the actual compact machine, so let's go do that. I think everything else I can set up... Near enough. Near enough. Ooh, actually. Le no, let's just go in there and we'll see what we can do from in there. Try not to come out of this compact machine until we're done. Bit of YouTube magic and, uh, yeah, I've set them all up, kind of. Not really. Uh, I've got a network receiver over here. So all of that is, well, it's not linked yet. So that's why none of these have kicked on yet. But there's a few things I need to set up, which I thought I'd mention. So the first one, pink mycelial generator. I can't see what this thing actually runs at, because normally if you... Uh, so mycelial generator, one of these was fine. I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, I think it was this one. So if you right click on this one, it brings this menu up. And then you click here, and then it shows you what's, you know, how long something stays in it. So that one is over there. So I have set that one up to do Ender Eyes, because as you just saw, Ender Eyes is double the amount of time as Ender Pearls. We don't really care about production in this case, although that does like quadruple the production right there, so that's pretty good. But we don't really care about that because it's 80 FE per tick, and 80 is not like... The amount that we really care about, it's, it's, it's the mycelial in the middle. It's the, the reactor that we care about. Um, but yeah, I've set up a few bits. So this one here is for the Ender Dragon. And that should uh, export into this. I've set up a, an exporter, importer. Exporter's got crafting upgrade and some... Sp I don't even need the speed upgrades. I only put those in because I was like, why are you not working? Then I realized this is not turned on yet. But yeah, this thing here uh, will generate the predictions. Predictions will go in here. I haven't set the filter for the predictions yet because I haven't got one yet. But once we get one, I'll pop it in here. You can drag and drop it from JEI. So I did put one in here. We've got the importers. I'm going to set it to be Dragon's Breath. So that way Dragon's Breath will just always end up in the halitosis generator. This one's always the pain in the bum one to make. 
And the way that I'm powering these is I'm powering it off the the reactor. I thought, that, or the uh, the generator. Sorry, I thought that would be kind of cool. So these two are being powered straight from this. I might hook it up, maybe at the front here. I'm not sure, but anyway, um, the magma mycelial reactor is going to be lava. So oh, I should probably write these down. Let's just try and remember them. So magma, we need to set some up for because we need to get ourselves like a ton of lava. I have a way of doing that and I'll probably do that next episode. So we won't get a running reactor this episode, but we will try. <laughs> we'll get a few things up and running. The pink one I did already, kind of, right here. I've got a... Oh, I always forget what this one's called. Peony. Or peon Y, Whatever. One of those. Uh, I've got a couple of... What are these called? So these are the pink botany pots. Hopping botany pots. They're going straight into this drawer, which will be sucked into our system when I activate this. They will export into this mechanical squeezer. The mechanical squeezer will then create. So if I do one of these, uh, that's purple. Where's pink? Probably should have just clicked on that. Oh, there it is. That will create like 10 with a chance of getting, well, an extra two. So overall, we'll get 10 out of this, which is pretty good. Uh, I believe I read somewhere that it, it will take like three seconds for one pink die to like be chomped by this. So we should make enough. I hope. That might not be enough. If not, I'll just add a couple more of these hopper botany pots. The nether star one. Uh, where is it? There's there's the nether star one. If I right click on this, hopefully it doesn't like take ages. Okay, that one's fine. That's uh, two minutes. So I could go into the minor dimension and up the timer. So it's like one and a half minutes. And that way, the one and a half minute, every one and a half minutes, we'll get a nether star. And then every two minutes, we'll lose another star. So we should be gaining them, if you know what I mean. The death mycelial generator, It this one I know you can look up because I had to look it up. You've got rotten flesh, bones, bone block, or wither skeleton skulls. I'm using bones because for some reason my two or my three uh, mob farms don't seem to work anymore. I've got to go look at those. Probably because of apotheosis being added to the pack. I'll have to go look at them. Anyway, the metallurgic mycelial generator. This one would work straight away because... We are getting the liquid meat, so I'm just exporting that with this set to fluid. We are getting the copper ingots, because we've got a ton of copper ingots. I need to set up my processing again for that, but copper ingots will come in here, the liquid meat will come in here. I think the reason I did that is because in gots, I actually have more tin, so let's make tin the thing that goes in here instead. That makes sense. Wow. So that would just chomp through some tin, but I don't think it takes long. I think it's like 30 seconds or something. Crimed, I don't know, because it doesn't let me open JEI for it, because reasons. This one's going to be interesting, the rocket. So again, I haven't put anything in the export for this or this. Because the rocket one, I need to make a rocket first. Have it come out of the recipe. And then put that rocket that I've made into the recipe for this to work. Because uh, if I were to do the one out of JEI, it would do the JEI. It's strange. I'll show you when we get to it. But on that one, I actually need a crafting upgrade as well. So I'll have to remember that. This one's furnace generator. That one's easy enough. Cold. Culinary generator. No idea what I'm going to do for that. I might do the same setup as this but for carrot, and just chuck carrots in there. I think I can't look this one up either, which is a bit of a pain, but meh. I'll need to do something for this one. So this is the slimy mycelial generator. We are getting a ton of slime balls, but you need milk as well. So I've got a milk one right here, and I'm going to set a cow up to be milked 
you can do that with industrial foregoing. So, and it's super quick. So it's pretty good. Potions. That one's a bit weird as well because I'm used to having the thing from thermal. So in thermal, you can just stuck uh, like chuck a bucket in uh, the fluid encapsulator. Well, not even a bucket. You can chuck a water bottle in there and add some water, and it will make a water bottle. And you can just export water bottles to this. It's super like quick. It takes like three seconds or something. But we can make a ton of water bottles, and we don't have to do any enchanting at that. Not not enchanting any. Uh, potion stuff at that point. The disenchantment one's really good because it takes enchanted books and we can make an enchanted book creator and that will just plonk it in there. And yeah, so we still need to do that. Don't actually need an exporter for that. We need an exporter on the thing that makes enchanted books. We need two. Now we'll come back to that one. The frosty generator, this one's interesting. The one that is the best for a frosty generator is snow. And this snow is three snow blocks. And to get snow blocks, ice essence. Well, we're already getting ice essence, so I'm gonna go nick a couple of seeds out of that and we'll do some seeds for this. Uh, the explosion one is gunpowder, so I'll have to figure out some way of getting gunpowder. There is a creeper essence. I'm not sure I want to go down that route, because I'm going to be using mystical for a few things. So we might just go and grab a creeper spawner, or find any spawner, we could turn it into a creeper spawner, right? So... And I think that's all of them. So there's, there's the plan. I might pick one or two and do them this episode. I've just got to check how long I've been recording for. Okay, we got time for like one. We can do one of these. And we might as well... Yeah, screw it. Let's go and actually plug this in as well. So down in our little area down here. I, I've been sort of stacking them up at the top here. I thought that would look quite nice. Stick that one down, chuck that one in. I didn't chunk load it, I don't think, did I? Flip an egg, yes I did. Uh, so that one does explosions. Luckily we've got the mech suit on. It's a little annoying. <laughs> Okay, we are going to turn off explosion sounds. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was loud. Uh, so the first one, what was the first one I was going to do? Oh, I know. So let's have a look. I want to see if the pink one actually has any. Uh, oh yeah, the nether star one... I forgot about that. Another star one gives you withering, but we've got... Okay, I need to remove that one from the importer. Blacklist importer? Is that it? Interesting. Right, let's let's change that to the other network. Ah, there we go. The other network doesn't give me any power. That's not good. Uh, but this should be importing... Oh, I just put all of my tools in there. Brilliant. Just get that back and my... And to be fair, I don't really use my laser that much anymore. So I'll leave that in this system. Chuck that in there as well. <laughs> Sweet. So this is making us some pink. Are you pulling out of here? Whitelist mode? Oh, that's just pulling out the peons, or whatever they're called. Why? Okay, don't auto-eject then. Just, why, why are you not pulling out of here? Importer type. Oh, this has been strange. Okay. 
Okay, so it needs to go on the bottom. You need to pull out the bottom of the mechanical squeezer. But there we go, we're getting some pink. It's going in here. It only lasts for three seconds, but that's fine. We should get enough pink out of this. Should be fine. Yep, they're all good. Uh, I believe bone has gone down. I need to go check on my uh, my stuff over there. Getting some from the liquid meat. Uh, 200 FE per tick's not bad. What's this one? Uh, I haven't done anything for this one yet. I'm not sure what to do about this one. Probably... Hmm, not sure. I'll have to go look up my older mod 7, because I did this in older mod 7 as well. That one's fine. That one, I need to think of another better food source. I haven't got any milk. Brilliant. So we're going to make some milk. I also need a crafting card for this. Thank you. Shut that one in. There you go. There's all of those being crafted up for us. I did have a... Oh, I need an importer for the empty bottles. Importer. I made like a bunch of importers and exporters just because I knew we were going to use the load. Cable. Eh. Aha. I need to set this one to blacklist. The water bottles. There you go. That should be working and it's going to be four. Four seconds. It's not that bad. It's better than the pink generator. Disenchantment. We'll figure that one out later. Uh, I need to do something for Frosty. I need to do something about gunpowder. I think my ender pearls is probably stopped as well. And my blaze rods as well. So we probably need to do that as well. But it is fine. Dragon's Breath should be coming out of this bit, but this isn't getting any power, so I am going to put another flux point. There we go, so this should be generating us some of those uh, dragon predictions. And then this one, I need some lava. Okay, I think that's all the ones that we've got, and I might have just run out of time. So I think. We're going to call it there. Next episode, we'll try and set up a couple of these. We, if we can, we'll try and set all of them up. And then after that, we'll have five, no, 25 MFE or RF. They are the same thing, if you didn't know. So that is 25 million that we're going to pump into the SPS. Before we go, I did want to just check something, and that is... Doubt we've got any antimatter. No, we do not. Let's go and have a look in the Everbright, see how far we are. Why are you getting like barely any? Only one of those is active. Oh, we're so close to getting one. Which one of you is. That one is active right now. That one's active. That one is not. And that one's active. Okay. Uh, I did have a tip, which was you can uh, stick these, uh, you know, the, the actual seeds in garden cloches, and they are actually better. They give you two instead of one, or something like that, of the essence. So I might try that, but... Yeah, this is proper slow. I think we need some better way of getting uranite. I'll have to figure that one out. Give us a boost. Let's take half of that one. There we go. Should be going back up now. This should be full pout. Tis full pout. Lovely. Oh, okay. Well, next episode we'll have at least one antimatter. And uh, we'll get working on some more power. And then we can actually sort of rip this apart. We don't need this anymore. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bath panel has been installed. Oh, looks lovely. There's a couple of gaps over there. Um, and it was a right pain to actually fit it in because of this corner bit. This uh, like cutout we had to do. Uh, but our mate that came over amazing at that he like got all the angles and drew it on and 
cut it all perfectly for us so that was really nice the gap over there is fine because that will be filled in i'm actually gonna i've got some silicon somewhere and we can just go and silicon that in the way that this goes in it sort of fits in and then like hooks up underneath the bath right there there's a little lip so uh when it hooks up like that you sort of like slide it in so that's slid in I, if i pull it from the bottom right there you can take it out again so what we're going to do is i need to get some screws which have like these little clips that go on top and you screw it into the wood that is behind that because there's a big wooden frame behind all of this that we installed uh, i forgot to get pictures apologies about that but you put that up against the the frame the frame should be like perfect where it needs to be and then uh, you screw the bottom bit into the frame itself and because the top bit is like resting against the the bath job done no more need to do anything so that's the update for today